Wow, they've been busy. The branch facility we entered was not as well preserved as the one we had visited in District 4. It seems Ancorp's Inquisitors have been using this place as their base for a while. Various torture devices and bits of flesh and machinery like those we saw in town came into my sight. This is lovely. Oh, wait, no, oh, stop. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> just straight dead. Just a huzzah in the dead. Rodia shrugged when I looked back. But I wanted to take charge for once. I'll be. You've all have gotten better at fighting, haven't you? This is who so I think it is. A faint voice calls to us from the corner. Oh, it's Sade. Oh, it's Jesse. Sorry about James. He's kind of dead. We'll, we'll get you a replacement, James. Sade. But I was resting against the wall, exhausted. She was covered in bites and gnawings left by the Picatula. Oh, you're right. Can you get up easily? Sade could barely talk, let alone stand on her feet. She slowly began to speak, each word filled with pain. Oh, Effie, how is he? Sarah. Alive yet? Yeah. You must have met outside. Everyone is hesitant to answer Sade's desperate question. How could any of us inform her of the morbid state Effie was in? And how we had to put him out of his misery. Yeah, he's doing fine now. Hong Lu answered quietly. The urge to pull it is growing stronger and stronger. It must pull a lever. <laughs> what will you do? All right, guys, do I pull this? 50% chance for a positive effect, 50% chance for a negative effect. Do it. Okay. Roll the dice, clockity man. When you pull down the lever, a clack follows soon after. The springs begin to turn. Some slow, some quick. Some clockwise, others counterclockwise. Watching the machines rumble grows wider, you feel uh, wilder, you feel anxious. Pulling a spontaneous thought into the action is an impulsive and uninhibited as a child reaching out for off limits marshmallows. Oh, I see. Oh my god. Chance time! The machine stopped at last. What's happening? In the moment, and the machine instead of room now began to tremble and crack. A moment later, the ceiling split open and gave way to a thousand oh, nails no. diving downwards. 5 HP and SP damage. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Miss! <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. You see a large gate in the distance. There's something eerie about the pointed fences and stone walls. Looks to be the only way through this area, but it's guarded by a large number of Inquisitors. Is there anything we can do about them? Uh, okay, so I can strike them from behind, run a pride check, then begin combat encounter, pass all, pass the buff. Reduce the number of waves by one. Re uh, run the lost check. Has to reduce the number of waves by two. Stab them in the face. I'll just straight up wipe them out. Okay. Here we go. Murder time. <laughs> My god, I am rolling. I am flipping nothing but tails. <laughs> Thank you, Heathcliff. Oh, thank you. Thank you, who? Thank you, who? Oof. Eat Doge. Good lord, 121 damage. Excellent. Boom. I heard that familiar yet ominous sound of a nail being dragged across the floor from not too far away. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, my god. Ye heretics must be exterminated. I needed to rewind the clock. Most of the sinners were either dead or gravely... We have, like, two people who are very bad. Oh. There was no way an effective, an effectively non-combat uh, manager uh, and someone barely holding on to her, uh, her life could take him. Mom, just hell. Please, stop. Oh no. What are you doing? Just then Sode pulled out a gun. She pointed the barrel at me. Wait, what? I need you to keep still. The moment you try to turn that clock, my gun will blow off your head. Sade? Don't look at me like that. I can't hear you, but I can tell you this. They promised to let Effie go if I helped get rid of you. He's dead. Oh my god. 
I let too much time pass. Guido comes to me and grabs me by the neck. Oh god, no. Not my head. I need that. Why did I just stand there and let him do that? Then he grips my head tightly with his other hand as if to crush it. Creaks, cracks, and rattles ring inside my head. That's not good. Don't break the clock. His fingers being inches away from shattering my head terrifies me. Is this it? Is this how I die? Could this have turned out differently if I was a better manager? I remember Heathcliff menacingly asking if there was a way to open up my head so he could see what's inside. Tough luck, Heathcliff. You'll be missing out on a good show. Oh, man. I heard a sound. It was a sound of something breaking. Fortunately for me, it didn't come from my head. Sinclair? The bean is back with a vengeance. Guido staggers. A nail was lodged in his back and Sinclair was gasping for air behind him. He was nearly unconscious, lying still until moments ago. It's a miracle that he managed to get up and do this. I could escape Guido's grasp thanks to him. But Guido stood firm despite Sinclair's desperate attack. He collected his breath and slowly turned around. See, you too are a filthy heretic. You're all insane, out of your minds. One who Grimms had once said that you could have become the one as well. What a shame. You grip with the wrong direction. Sinclair, run away. I can't help you. No, I'm not running anymore. It answered, Sinclair. Gunfire filled my ears. Kabam. But the bullet struck Guido's head. Guido fell to the floor, motionless. Can we please double tap him? Triple tap him? Can we set him on fire? Can we throw him in a compactor? And in that hush, I heard her handgun drop to the floor. Sade. Effie, he's... he's dead, isn't he? You're all terrible liars. At least try to make it somewhat believable. I'll hold them off here. You should go. You can't. You can't do that. You said yourself that you can hardly lift a finger. I can't let you watch our backs when you're in such a mess. Please? House, please take these absolute dorks out of here. I'll make sure to give her vegetables your rear regards. No need. Just tell him to come visit and say hello someday. You know what I mean? Oh, of course. Poor Team Rocket. We headed to the next area, leaving Sade to die. We all stayed silent for a long while. That looks pleasant. You hear beasts crawling around somewhere? There certainly is the sound of something moving along the floor. Oh, okay. That's not good. Ego corrosion has rested them. Oh, they've been using egos. That's what's been going on. They got down here and we're like, we're gonna use everything there. They just use that ego and then look what happened. Oh boy, look at these lads. Yeah, what's this odor? The sinners frowned at the uh, olfactory assault. Following their eyes, they found an inquisitor collapse on the floor. Definitely dead. Smells becoming from the rotting corpse Everyone, while everyone was hesitant to approach. You see something sparkle. This would be something amidst the writhing manes. What do you do? Run a gluttony check, pass to gain an ego gift, fail, and lose HP and SP. Oh boy, grab the shiny. Three coins. You have 18 SP. Please, Ryosho, please. Oh! <laughs> that was close. Okay. What does this do? Using a certain event expires on use. Oh. Well, okay then. The passage was red hot, though. Yeesh, that'd melt my shoes. The sinners carefully approached the road, only to retreat from the overwhelming heat. Something was written on the sign in front of the passage. Prove your humanity, and through weakness and sur sur sup separation, where the path that with mobilization. No time to, at all to figure out what it meant. What will you do? Only available if the ego gift and corpse seal is in possession. 
When a wrath check passes pass to gain an ego gift, failing begins a three-way of combat encounter, 50% chance for a three-way of combat encounter. Oh man, but I could get an ego gift. Uh, all right, all right, might as well give it a shot. We'd have, all right, Otis, you have the highest SP, so you have the highest percent to hit both coins. I'm gonna have to hit all coins no matter what, so, you know. Here we go. Here we go. There's a checkpoint after this anyway. Oh my god, you did it! Ran across the heated road on bare feet. The others frowned at the rancid sense of burning flesh. Going for that promotion! The identity that undertook the right boosts the power of wrath skills by two. I'm about to lose all my SP anyway. A passage is written above the large gate. That doesn't look comfortable at all. Only those who repent may find motivation. Thorn yourself, atone through flagellation. It looks like it wants us to impale ourselves on spikes. What will you do? Man, that's an uncomfortable chair. Is this what poor people have to sit on? Is this what poor people have to sit on? Oh my god. Rodia, AoE them to death. Oh. <laughs> I for didn't think to check their status effects. I bleed. I forgot she had bleed. <laughs> Did bleed! Bleed! <laughs> the hell are you? Slithering Inquisitor. Sir, your arms are snakes. Alright, good luck, guys. Save, save my beefy boy. We got a stagger. Alright, or a part broken or something. Zap him. Payday 2 lobby? <laughs> I did like me chapter two. Did that not stagger? Are you serious? Oh, I think we just broke his arm. Oopsie. All right, we've got it. Oh my god. Cowabunga it is. What? Ow. I think uh, Hong Lu's gonna just die. Nice. He needs to roll heads to lose power. Oh. Oh, we killed him. Oh, we got him. We did it, guys. The boy! The boy with the axe. Quizzers raiding their arms, unisons worship something, and their Cromer stood at the highest peak. She held out her hands in a prayer-like gesture towards the golden bow atop an altar. They're worshipping this thing? The fathoms of the ego are already open. I see someone has resonated with the bow before us. What are they going up to? What are they raising their hands for? Prayer. What is the sound? Oh, God. No, I don't want to show my memories. They're... Unfortunately, his plea held no power over the realm. Uh -oh. All right, everyone, listen up. The one who grips so declares. The one who grips so declares. Not only are those heretics disturbing our sacred rites, they are now after the offering that is rightfully ours to consecrate. Go forth and die. Do not fear your end. As long as the offering of gold is with us, you shall be brought back to life again and again. I... I... Sinclair. Did you bring the coin? Uh-oh. We're flashing back, guys. I can't wait to beat the crap out of Cromer. The breaks between classes are always lively since everyone gathers around to talk. The adults would often watch us from afar and take this as a heartwarming sight. I guess I know who's singing this chapter's end credits. But there's something they don't realize. When you take a closer look, these merry interactions are brimming with envy, vainglory, pride, and guile. Children are crafty creatures. I heard Rahul from the next class to over is getting surgery on both arms by his father. Gonna be some, some new tech that's never been shown before. How cool is that? 
I grow more anxious with each boastful story my classmates tell. What can I share? They're expecting eyes pointed at me like they could turn into scoffing leers at any moment. This is a secret, but uh, I swallowed nervously. Maybe they weren't asking me for a story after all. But I had to keep their curious eyes on me. I knew for sure that I'd become an outcast the moment they looked away. My dad signed a contract with P Corp. They saw the technology he was working on and agreed to give their full support. I became the center of conversation in a split second. I can feel the stimulated eyes of the other kids in class drawn to me. All right, Sinclair. Your procedure soon, isn't it? You know, the prosthetics? Yeah, of course. They told me I'll get the newest model. If they paid just a bit of attention to my face, they'd have noticed the reluctance in my expression. I was supposed to keep that a secret. What if father finds out? Ah, blood was leaking from my fingertips. The bad habit of biting my nails whenever I felt anxious ended up hurting me. I tried clipping them as short as I could to work on breaking it. But I never considered that I might bite into my skin instead. Father's fault for telling a child something that was NDA to hell about. Yeah, like, not even I do that. <laughs> Watching blood droplets fall on the desk, I thought of something. Once I graduate, I'll get a prosthetic replacement. And then I'll never get hurt or see my blood ever again. But is that really... You're bleeding. Oh, God. Someone casts a shadow over my desk with a whimsical whistle. Oh, God. She was a classmate I rarely talked to, so I could barely remember her name. Flustered, I stuttered out of my response awkwardly. What was that? Listen, what you said earlier, is it legit? Oh, uh, yeah, it's legit. See, your father must be a real big deal, isn't he? Yeah, um, I guess. Her unexpected flattery has me embarrassed. As if my father's greatness were somehow my own. No. Why did you make that face? Huh? You know, you were thinking it to yourself. Then she lowered her head in whispers, for only me to hear. Is it filthy? My eyes widen. Not just because I was surprised by how she knew what I was thinking, but the fact that a total stranger like her had been able to figure out exactly what I'd been hiding. How did you know? I could have gotten away with just that if I had just denied her accusations, but tactically, tactically, I asked her what a dumbfounded look on my face. Plus, did his body not feel the pain anymore, especially in my legs? I know, right? I just want my blood pressure to go away. Because I agree with you on that. You, you agree? You can see a lot from those who are on the same wavelength as you. Nice to meet you, I'm Cromer. Ever since then, Cromer and I became friends who talk often. Oh boy, and I'm gonna now and now we now that was your first and last mistake.